Okay, hi YouTube, Mr. Who's the Boss here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Yahoo Aviate. Now, this is like the launcher that's set to beat them all because it really is pretty incredible. So it does a lot more than most standard launchers. It's like a whole interface within itself. It sorts apps by different categories and you can set them in preferences. And the amount of attention to detail is just insane. I mean, you can actually you know, ask for recommended apps in different categories that you're interested in. It'll send you instant direct links to buy them and download them from the Play Store. And it's just, it's vast what they've actually done with this. And the whole interface is super customizable. You can get rid of sections, you can add sections, and you can do pretty much anything you want. So the app drawer is hidden pretty conveniently to the right side of the home screen, and that can't be changed, however I think it's a pretty good location. So you can't quite access it with one click, but because most of your apps are already sorted into more accessible places, then you probably won't even need to. You'll only use the app drawer for apps that you use just occasionally. So on the left side we actually have kind of a blink feed equivalent, which has all your widgets that you can install, and newsflash, which is basically like a update for all the local news based on where you put your location as. So the whole UI for me has been super, super smooth, but bear in mind that I'm using this on the HTC One M8, which is understandably quite a high-end device. So at the minute, I've got no lower-end device to actually test it on. However, in the Play Store description, it does say that it supports lower-end devices. So, I mean, if any of you guys could try it and tell me how it runs, that would be great, because honestly, I don't really know. But for me personally, it's running absolutely amazingly. It feels even smoother than HTC Sense for some reason. I think they've overdone the animations a little bit, but in a nice way, it's not obtrusive and it's still fast. So you can actually also change the theme packs like you can with most launches, but what's interesting about this one is it changes literally instantaneously. Within literally one click, your whole UI has yet again changed. I remember with Go Launcher and Apex Launcher, it takes almost, you know, 20, 30 seconds to sort all this out, so I've no idea how they've managed to do it so quickly, but it just it just works. Now as you'd expect, you can also change your wallpaper, selecting from either gallery, taken pictures, or previously built-in wallpapers, and that all works as you'd expect it to. There's also a built-in power saving mode, and there's a possibility to change the whole theme to a dark theme, which honestly I think looks even better than the light one. I mean, it's, it's just beautiful. So yeah, that's just a quick view on this launcher. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.